Hi, I'm Celine Giovanni and I'm a D2 at ASDO. I knew of the modular system when I came to, came to ASDO, but I wasn't fully prepared. I knew it was going to be a hard time and I knew it was going to be class by class, but I didn't know it was going to be so intensive. Um, so there was an adjustment in the beginning, knowing that you had exams almost back to back to back and knowing that you had to study back to back to back for all of them. So there was a little adjustment period, but you get used to it pretty quickly and you don't really have a choice. You have to get used to it pretty quickly. So all in all, it's not that bad. I'm Ryan Cordero and I'm a D2. The biggest adjustment for me in the modular curriculum was just knowing that dental school was an eight to five job. Uh, it's full time, plus you have 20 hours of studying every single week. And so knowing that I have to take it like a full time job, it's not undergrad. And then on top of that, being professional and being expected to be professional at all times was the biggest adjustment. Hi, I'm Eva George, and I'm a second year dental student here at Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health. I found myself experiencing a very big adjustment to the modular system. Um, you know, coming from undergrad, where you have three, four, five, six classes at a time, um, you have to focus on one class, and it's intense, and it's very um, difficult sometimes. But it's the amount of classes that you have, because it doesn't end. So sometimes it, ca it can seem very dreadful uh, because you're studying every day for so many days. But once you organize yourself and you find a rhythm, it becomes per it becomes very manageable. It just becomes your lifestyle, your habit. Hi, my name is DeAndrea Bell, and I am a second year dental student at ASDO. It was a big adjustment. I I knew that it was going to be fast paced, but it was so demanding, and it I had to become very very organized. So. It was a big adjustment. Initially, I thought it was good, you know, one course at a time, but you have to become very organized. Organizing your days at ASDO is pretty easy because every week is almost the same. You have a quiz almost every Wednesday and every Friday, and you have an exam every Monday. So you could kind of have the same schedule every day of every week. Every Monday is the same, every Tuesday is the same. So it was a balance throughout the year. Hi everyone, my name is Nezahet Mutlu. I'm a D2 here at the Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health. So uh, after being in lecture from eight to five, uh, my day starts after class. I think about um, when do I have my test and what do I need to do? And so I think about, okay, uh, do I, is it crunch time? Do I need to head over to the library and just uh, cover as much material that I can until, it's, um, until I'm comfortable with the material? Or do I need to take a moment to myself and just readjust and vanish from my mind and um, go eat? That's my hobby, I love to eat. So that always cures the fix. I organize my day by staying true to the calendar and the syllabus meaning that I would double check both to make sure that they were both accurate and that they aligned. Um, so if I knew that I had a test that coming Monday and a following on Tuesday, like a quiz or something, um, just to stay on top of both things so that come Monday afternoon I wasn't freaking out. Um, so just be on top of your schedule, make sure that um, your professor has it accurate and just being very um, organized with the nitty gritty. Hello, my name is Charles Woodruff and I'm a D2. I organized my week, really. I figured out when I, when I had a test based off of Google Calendar or the syllabus, and I tried to study on certain days and then also give myself some free time on other days to rejuvenate. I organized my day after school. Um, it's 8 to 5 every single day I'm in class, and so um, afterwards I would go and work out twice a week, three times a week for like an hour, but then also find two hours out of the day to study whether it's at home or at the library. I organized my day based on my workout schedule and my study schedule. The first thing I did when I woke up is work out and um, I based my study schedule on my immediate needs, uh, whatever I needed to study for for the current course. And I also looked ahead for the next module because this module system moves very quickly. I knew of the modular system, but I don't really think I grasped the modular system um, until you're actually doing it and are immersed in it. You can be told about it, but you don't know how you're going to react to it. Um, it wasn't as bad as people thought it was going to be. 
Before going into school, you hear about the uh, modular curriculum through online resources, or it's a word of mouth, or from um, upperclassmen. You, they tell you about what to expect. It's going to be, you know, test every day or test uh, three times a week, and so you just hear it. But in order to be actually be prepared for this, it's no such thing. You have to live it in order to, like, you know, know what you're getting yourself into. The only thing I knew about the modular curriculum was that it was one class at a time, and that you were going to be doing it all day for a week or two weeks or however long it was going to be. Um, what I didn't know about it was that it was going to be one test every Monday or sometimes two, three tests a week. So um, it's just as challenging from my experience now as it would be in taking five classes at a time. I knew about the module system before coming to ASDO and it was actually one of the reasons why I kind of chose to come to ASDO. I really liked it because I knew that it would fit better with my study habits and everyone has different study habits but even though it would be intense and it is intense and it is very stressful and sometimes it seems like it's too much it's a good chance for me to focus on one thing and not have to spread myself too thin and learn one material less than I would the other it's important for me to feel a sense of balance and I feel like by focusing on one class at a time I was able to achieve that really well I didn't prepare for the curriculum in any way besides just relaxing and gearing up mentally for dental school because I didn't want to burn out quick. So just not doing anything is what I was instructed to do by my mentors and that's what I did. It worked out well for me. Um, you really want to be refreshed when you come into school because if you aren't refreshed, if you spend your su summer studying and trying to know everything and be ahead of the game, you're really in trouble. Um, you're going to see that you're going to burn out fast and you're going to burn out faster than all of your classmates and it's not going to be good. So I prepared by taking a vacation. I prepared for this year and the curriculum by enjoying my summer as much as I possibly could. You have to think long-term goal, not short-term, um, because it's going to keep coming and these tests are going to keep coming, the quizzes and the classes, but that's okay. Um, just balance out your, your social life, your organizational skills, figure out who you are as a student and what works for you as a study and it'll become much more manageable and anyone can do it. <laughs>